Are you planning a trip to West Africa? Well, the time is now. Sierra Leone, a country on the west coast of Africa with rich history, heritage and culture, it's time to feel the pristine beaches, exotic and eco-friendly sights, the lion still roars from the mountain top. Be in touch with nature and feel the hospitable tap of the people. Sierra Leone, seriously surprising. Sierra Leone, the land of stories. Ecotourism, contemporary tradition blended with luxury at its best. Land of the resilient, though widely known for its mines and minerals, Sierra Leone is the New York of West Africa. I was born here. My great-great-grandfather was born here. Every day I wake up to this country, I see this beautiful view, I fall in love with this country more and more again. So I really wonder what does it feel like for a stranger to step foot into this country and have that feeling. This is why Sierra Leone is special to me because every foreigner that steps in here, my guests that come in, the first thing I ask them, how do you see the country? Oh my God, it's beautiful. Sierra Leone is also known for its hills and mountains. Protected by its remoteness, the highland rainforest is very pristine. Hills and forests are home to vibrant bird life. It's worth pitching a tent for a few days to enjoy relaxing, with only the sound of birds for company. The bird fauna is rich. An impressive 630 bird species are on offer. One of the most famous is the colorful blue turaco, a very rare and exotic species. There are also other animals worth seeing, for example, at the Chimps Sanctuary. The Chimps Sanctuary is only a 30-minute drive from Freetown and was established to rescue orphaned and captured chimps. Most live semi-wild inside large enclosures. Here, dozens of chimps are being prepared for release.
Sierra Leone is safe, peaceful, and fully in business for investors. There are huge potentials for investment, such as vast land of coastal lines, with beautiful landscape for the development of hotels, ecologies, restaurants, and also sea transportation. The country has a lot of islands for investment, such as Bonf Shabro Island, Banana Island, Bounds Island, and many more. There is a level business platform to ease you from all hassles. The tourism sector also offers a stronger motivation for hotel development and many more. With these vast development potentials, the tourism sector is calling on business gurus to invest in a safe and a stable destination like Sierra Leone, where your investment is secured. There is also need for agro-tourism development due to the vast agricultural potentials the country has in land fertility. Sierra Leone, where investment is safe and secured. As a Ministry of Tourism, we want to create the enabling environment for the tornadoes to try. Currently, we are busy trying to engage quite a number of investors to come to Sierra Leone and to ensure that uh, they invest in both human, physical, and then in terms of structural, in moving Sierra Leone forward. So this government is at the forefront of trying to change the international image of therapy. And one way in which we want to do that is by making sure that we use the tourism sector to rebrand therapy. But once we use the tourism sector to rebrand therapy, then it means that um, we are not only saying we are open for business, but that we are in actual business. And in the first place, um, we have so many rich cultural and natural assets in this country. But I think one of our prime attractions is our coastal area. We are so blessed. We are located along 400 kilometers beach stretch, and I want to make use of that. In the past, these areas have been isolated, um, uh, despite the, the rich heritage as well as the rich natural resources it has. And as a government, we think if we are going to expand on the tourism in industry, there is a need to see how we can harness these resources very well. So far, you know, in the policy area, we've been making several moves to see how we can make it, how we can facilitate a seamless travel to Sierra Leone. But um, that will not stop there. We want to ensure that not only the mainland, but also our exotic island, of which the Bond District is, um, is, very, is very key. We want to see how we can promote that particular area. First and foremost, it's for us to open up Sierra Leone not just internationally, but also domestically. Um, tourism is not only for free time. And if you want to move away and bring other people so that tourism has its national character, we have to tap in every area that we have tourism potential. And Bonk Island is one such area and its surrounding islands are one such area that is huge in terms of tourism potential. We have Toto Islands, which is comprised of seven communities. We, call it Toto Islands. we have Yile, we have Baki, we have Sei, we have Yangai, we have Muti, we have Bumbetu and Kijuni. Those are the seven. The Bond District, more specifically the Bond Island or Shabu Island and its environment, has huge potential of tourism. Uh, it has got huge potential for the development of different niche tourism products like scuba diving, game fishing, sports, I and mean, sport tourism that is boating, kayaking and the like. It has also got the historical heritage element of it. Uh, many, many companies like the PISA, CFP, who we are operating on this island are doing economic activities. It was an island where we a revenue, huge revenue was generated to this country. And the relics 
Castilla. Sierra Leone, Sierra Lee, surprising.